Today, we will explore everything you need to know to master After Effects, from setting up the software to learning the most advanced features. Whether you're just starting out or want to level up your skills, this guide will walk you through After Effects step by step. So, let's get started. The first thing you need to know when working in After Effects is how to bring your footage or assets into the program. Whether it's a video clip, a photo, or even an audio file, getting these elements into the workspace is where everything begins. Here's a little shortcut that makes importing files into After Effects easier. First, ensure all your assets are organized in a folder on your computer. This isn't just a nice to have, it will save you a lot of time later on. When you're ready to import, you can drag that folder right into After Effects. You'll notice a project panel on the left, and when you drop your folder into that panel, your assets will be ready to use. Simple, right? Once you have your footage in place, the next step is creating a composition. Think of a composition as your canvas or the workspace where all your creative work happens. You can either create a new composition by clicking the Create New Composition button in the project panel or by dragging your footage directly into the timeline area at the bottom. After Effects will automatically create a composition that matches your footage's resolution, but you can adjust this if you need a different size. For example, if your footage is 4K but you only want a 1080p project, you can go to the Composition Settings and change the resolution to 1920 by 1080. This is super useful if you need to export a smaller file size or adjust the aspect ratio for different platforms. Now that you've got your composition set up, let's take a moment to get familiar with the user interface. On the left, you'll find the project bin where all your assets are stored. In the middle, you'll see the timeline, and that's where most of the action happens. Above that, you have the preview window where you can watch your composition in real time. One important concept to understand in After Effects is how layers work. If you've used Photoshop before, this will feel familiar. Imagine you're creating a sandwich. Whatever layer is on top in the timeline is the one that will show up on top in the composition. So, for example, if you want text to appear over a video, you need to make sure the text layer is above the video layer. To help you keep everything straight, you can rename your layers. Just right-click on the layer name in the timeline and choose Rename. This is helpful when you're working with many layers. Trust us, when you're very far into a project and have 30 layers, it can get confusing quickly. Keyframes are one of the most important concepts in After Effects. They allow you to animate properties like position, scale, rotation, and opacity over time. Setting keyframes is like marking points in time where you want something to change. After Effects will automatically create the animation between those points. Let's say you want to move an image from the left side of the screen to the right. First, select your layer in the timeline, then press P on your keyboard to bring up the position property. Move the playhead to where you want the animation to start and click the stopwatch icon next to position. This sets your first keyframe. Now, move the playhead to a later point in time, three seconds in, then drag the image to the right side of the screen. After Effects will automatically create the animation for you, moving the image across the screen. This is the beauty of keyframes. You only need to set the beginning and the end, and After Effects takes care of the in-between. If you play it back, you'll see the image move smoothly across the screen. All right, masks are a really useful tool that allows you to control what parts of a layer are visible. Imagine you have a video of a person walking in front of a building, but you want to highlight just the person and blur the background. You can use a mask to isolate the person from the rest of the video. To create a mask, select the layer you want to work with and choose the pen tool from the toolbar at the top. Click around the area you want to isolate, and when you close the shape, you've created a mask. If you want to refine the mask, press M to bring up the mask properties, where you can feather the edges to make it look softer or adjust the opacity. Masks are helpful when you need to focus on a particular part of your video. For instance, if you're working on a product demo and want to blur out sensitive information on a screen, a mask is the easiest way to do that.
Now that we've got a handle on the basics, let's add some effects. Effects are where After Effects really shines. Whether you're adjusting colors, adding motion blur, or creating a glow, effects can take your project to the next level. To apply an effect, go to the Effects and Presets panel on the right. You can search for any effect by name or just browse through the categories. For example, if you want to make your video look a bit more dramatic, you can apply the Tint effect, which converts your footage to black and white. Simply drag the effect onto your layer and adjust the settings in the Effect Controls panel. Another popular effect is the Gaussian Blur. This is great for softening backgrounds, giving your video a more professional look. Drag it onto your layer, increase the blur amount, and instantly your video looks more cinematic. Effects can be stacked too, so feel free to experiment with combining different ones. Just remember that less is often more. Overloading your footage with effects can make it look busy, so use them sparingly to enhance, not overwhelm. If you want to get really fancy and isolate moving objects from the background, you'll need to use the Roto Brush tool. This tool is essential for tasks like removing a subject from a background, especially when the subject is in motion. Here's how it works. Double-click on your video layer to open it in the layer window, then select the Roto Brush tool from the toolbar. Click and drag around the subject you want to isolate, and After Effects will do its best to follow the edges. It's not perfect, so you'll need to refine the edges manually, but it's still much faster than doing it frame by frame. Once you've isolated your subject, you can place them over a different background or apply effects to the background without affecting the subject. Rotoscoping is a more advanced technique, but once you get the hang of it, it opens up a world of possibilities for creative editing. One of the coolest things about After Effects is its ability to create 3D compositions. This means you can move layers around not just in two dimensions, up and down, left and right, but also in depth forward or backward. To enable this, simply check the 3D layer box next to any layer in the timeline. Once you have a 3D layer, you can use a camera to navigate through your composition. Right-click in the timeline, go to New, and select Camera. This gives you control over the view of your composition, which allows you to create dynamic shots that zoom in, out, or around your elements. For example, if you're creating an intro for a YouTube video, you can use 3D layers and the camera tool to have your text fly onto the screen from the background, which gives it a professional, polished look. Once your project is done, it's time to render. Rendering is the process of exporting your After Effects composition into a playable video format. This is where all your hard work comes together. To render, go to File, then Export, and choose Add to Render Queue. In the Render Queue, you can select your desired output settings, like resolution and file format. If you're not sure which settings to use, the default H.264 format is a great choice for web videos as it offers a good balance between quality and file size. After you've chosen your settings, hit Render and let After Effects do its job for you. Depending on the complexity of your project, this can take anywhere from a few minutes to several hours, so be patient. And there you have it. These are just a few steps to get you started with After Effects. As you continue to experiment, you'll find more advanced techniques, but mastering these basics will set a solid foundation. Thanks for joining us in this guide. See you in the next video.